Cost times donated Yo, $507. Dude, thank you, man. Holy shit. Hey, Brian, love Andrew, not necessarily the Christian. What is his advice for a non-Christian who agree but of differences with the approachy? Approachy? No, I, I'm not, um... I'm not the guy who goes around and beats people over the head with the Bible. If I'm in a debate and we're talking about ethics, I'll bring up my ethical foundation as being Christianity. But honestly, I think that there are a lot of good atheists out there who try... who They don't go after Christians, in other words. That's not really what they're after. They tend to like that moral foundation best for society. So I don't... You know, I have friends who are atheists, I have friends who are Christians across the board, but... I, st I advocate that Christian morality is the finest morality, and it's the best, and it is part of the foundation of, uh, of who I am. But ultimately, I'm not, yeah, you'll never see me do it. I mostly always make secular arguments unless we get into moral foundations, because I don't think it's all that effective to beat people over the head with the Bible, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, that comment should have been more towards Chase. <laughs> I do completely agree with Andrew. Yeah, I, I don't think that like reciting Bible verses or spewing Bible verses mm -hmm. in people's face is a, is a way to turn them to the faith. If anything, I think it turns them off. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I grew up extremely Catholic, mm -hmm. and obviously, I like you have that Catholic guilt growing up. Like no matter <sighs> what, you will always have that Catholic guilt. But something that like hurt me about my church was like that they were just like spewing all this stuff, like unnecessary bullshit I guess like yeah. at a very young age where it was like really really messing with our heads and like I really stopped and I guess removed myself from the church even though I like still really hold on to faith I guess in a way but um but yeah I remember like going to like Sunday school and like hearing like really hate hurtful and hateful shit like not even directed towards me but it was just like how is that like even part of like a religion is just so hateful, you know? Well, okay. Well, now, <laughs> now we just got done, yeah. right? Where I say this, and then and then we hear this. But what do you? What oh, sorry, do you I mean wasn't. I wasn't like. Hateful? No, no, I wasn't like saying like. I wasn't trying to bring down the church. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be. No, I, under, I understand. I'm just wondering like, um, what happened, which was hateful. They would say a lot about um, like LGBTQ, mm -hmm. the community, and that obviously like went really wrong with me um overall i didn't have a good experience within the church i loved like the aspect of like going to mass and like preaching and like having like some type of faith but personally i just was never really connected with it and then everything that they would like preach to us especially very very young when we were still in high school and like figuring things out um was very off-putting to me especially like not really like knowing myself too well, I guess, and then they're just like spewing kind of like a lot of like hate. Did you go about through your would you say um, yes? Would okay. you say the the things that you would perceive as being hateful, the things which they kind of preach as being restraints or human restraints? Do you think that it was the restraint aspect of it that you disliked the most? Not the restraint, honestly. Today, Pope Francis actually, um, what he do? He condemned um, the LGBTQ marriage for church and the Catholic Church, which I think is a great thing. Yeah. Um, I love that. I love that for the Catholic Church. But um, can, can, can you repeat? Condemned like means the opposite. Oh, that, that means sorry, sorry. that he's not for condone. Condone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm oh, so dude. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He condoned. <laughs> yeah, but that's the opposite of restraint. That's the whole point. I know. I'm saying. I'm saying the, that back then, my church would definitely preach like a lot of like. I wouldn't restraint. say restraint. I, that's not res restraining towards me, but I, I'd say that was pretty hateful back then. Yeah, but they're res they're societal restraints. That's I, the point. That you're just you have no idea what was said to her though in the Sunday schools. That's and why I'm asking. I know. That's why I think the disconnect is like yeah, you're talking about restraints, but it could be also that she just had a very negative priest or the one the way that they were going about it wasn't yeah it could be exactly It'd be great if she could tell me right yeah That's and i was asking. i was very um disobedient at the time <laughs> i guess i would yeah. like skip sunday school i'd like leave yeah. with my friends so that wasn't a great thing i also wasn't like taking it too seriously because of yeah. these reasons because i was like i want to rebel against yeah. whatever they are telling me yeah and i would get in trouble the father would tell my mom and he would call my mom and he'd tell him i wasn't there and that i left um so that wasn't fun it sounds like you were rebelling against yes the yes right? i i was i was at that time yeah. but at 
like the thing is i was almost like very forced into the religion because yeah. i rate i was i grew up catholic um but i, I have well, done the thing i've noticed um just to, to, to kind of like this this exchange back and mm-hmm. forth that most of the time when people say that the church or a church is doing something which is hateful mm-hmm. they're usually pointing out a restraint mm-hmm. on behavior that they don't like it's not that they're hateful towards anybody or they're doing anything which is hateful but rather they're issuing a set of restraints that and people don't want to adhere to what those restraints are so they tend to term it as being hateful behavior but it it is hateful because it's mm, you're well, what I, restraints are you referring yeah. to i was raised catholic and because I would, they told they would tell us at church like if you if a man sleeps with a man like you're going mm-hmm. to hell like that was so that it. would be that's that would be restraint behavior that's saying don't do that this. Is, that's hateful because they'd say gay that's people. not hateful no they'd say what? gay people were bad they'd say gay people. if you thought bad. somebody if you honestly thought this if you honestly thought somebody would go to hell for doing that act wouldn't the least hateful thing in the world be to stop them from doing the act bro i don't think it's a responsibility yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people are no, gonna no, listen their listen closely lives. to the question i am listening if you thought you honestly thought a person would go to hell for eternity, fire and brimstone for eternity, for doing an act, then wouldn't the least hateful thing be to tell them not to do the act or no. to try to yeah, restrain them no. from doing Why? the act? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but no. no. Looking from a different perspective, no. I, I, it's I, well, who could the answer to that be? No. Because, because I knew from a young age, I knew from a young age, right? I knew from a young age that that wasn't okay for the church to say you're going to hell and you're gonna burn forever because you uh, like a man. I think it's okay. Yeah, okay, okay, no, I'm not asking whether you believe it or not. I'm, I'm asking saying. if a person did believe it, if they honestly felt in their core being that hell was real and, there, and that people were going to go to that place, this horrible, horrific place for eternity if they didn't act, then wouldn't the least hateful thing for that person uh, to do B to try to stop people from engaging in that act. I I'm sorry, I've already answered from. your question. No, I can answer it. I you literally that's... didn't answer the question. Okay, you just I reframed can answer it. it. Then Sophie will answer. If it. you <laughs> have proof of that and you want to affect people's lives based off of that proof, then sure. But there isn't any, so you can't dictate other people's lives wait, based wait, off no, of that. What are you talking? No, listen. Ask listen me. to the question. No, How I would you? Okay, question, here. Let me ask a different question. It's not. Your How would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? I usually don't eat breakfast this morning. <laughs> I don't yes. care. Okay, well, and that's why we can't do the hypothetical. Okay, I can do a hypothetical with you if I honestly thought. Well, you can, that, I, I literally just understand. asked you one. Uh, it's a very basic okay, well, question about breakfast, and you couldn't could engage answer. in the hypothetical. Okay, <laughs> if you don't want my answer, that's fine. I don't. Well, I mean, do. well, are you actually going to answer the question? So here's the actual well, question. Like Let me to give be it to you again. To. The person believes it. They actually believe it. Whether you believe it or not, it's totally irrelevant. Yes, but that person believes it. So if that person believes life. it, and that person, wouldn't the least hateful thing for them to do would be to stop you from doing the activity they thought would lead to that heinous thing? No, because it's then no, you're controlling free will. will. Yeah, yeah, you're controlling free will. Why would you, somebody ever do that? If you stopped a murderer, are you controlling free will? Bro, it's not that's responsibility different with stop. sleeping with somebody else. <laughs> that's Why? so different. No, it's the same thing. You're, you're mm-hmm. literally trying to stop a behavior that you think is damaging to a person, wouldn't the least hateful thing be, if you honestly believe that that was true, that a person would go to hell for all of existence? I did believe that. Would you try your that. hardest to stop them from doing that I behavior? I did believe that. I, yes, and I see what the, and the faith that they're coming from is from a good standpoint as they're trying to help them because they think that, yes, if they do this action that they're going to spend the eternity in hell, whatever. So I do see how Christians Here. are trying to help that action and trying to help these people, right. but I think my issue more stands from, because I... I coming back into my faith, I was raised Catholic, I'm branching back into Christianity to see exactly where I fall in. I think the bigger issue is the hypocrisy. So it's like if you're going to focus on the LGBTQ community for doing those actions, just also make sure you focus on everything else in the Bible that the Bible condemns. Make sure that you're also focusing on all of those people too, and not just the LGBT community, because that's not the only thing that the Bible says for us not to do, right? So like, just make sure you give the same energy to everybody. Yeah, okay, but, but to engage with this, maybe you can help me out here, Kiko. The other the person, if the person believes they, this is what they believe, and they're trying to stop or restrain a behavior because they think it'll lead to this horrific outcome, and they actually care about you, 
Don't you think that that person, the least hateful thing that they could do would be to try to stop that behavior? And All right, this I, is I your said, fi final, final I said thing yes. this, and I'm going to move on. I said yes, yes okay, but just keep the you. same energy. I just want to make sure. Keep the same energy is all I'm saying, is with everything. <laughs> That's why I All right, let me read. I'm going to read. get caught up on a couple chats here, guys. 